In this tutorial, I'll explain my workflow for generating these hexagonal metal and random infill glass panel landscape canopies, using geometry nodes and Blender. The workflow is non-destructive and generative to create multiple form variations of the canopy. Blender is a free and open source, versatile, feature-rich, 2D and 3D modeling, rendering and animation software which you can download from Blender.org. The link is in description below. For this tutorial, I am using Blender 3. 1 1 stable. Since we are going to generate a hexagonal canopy, we will start with this radial hexagonal grid generator blend file, which you can download for free from my Gumroad page. The link, again, is in description below. Open, rename, and save this file at your choice of location. You will see a hexagonal grid of hexagon curve primitives in the viewport window generated by the node setup shown in the geometry nodes editor window. You can adjust the number of rings and the radius of hexagons from the node setup. In the outliner window, rename the hex base hex grid collections to canopy or to a name of your choice. In the geometry nodes editor window, rename the node group name to canopy setup or to any name of your choice. Before proceeding, make sure Node Wrangler add-on is switched on. I am additionally using the shortcut VR add-on to display keyboard shortcuts. Also, do remember to save your file at regular intervals. First we can delete the split edges node, which we won't need. Unmute the realize instances and merge by distance nodes. This will convert the hexagon curve instances into a single mesh and optimize the mesh by deleting overlapping vertices. You can check this in the spreadsheet window. We now have an optimized single mesh. To start, set the number of rings to 11, hexagon radius to 1.6 and gap value to 0. Now add set position node and connect its offset node to position input node. Add a vector math node and set it to distance. The mesh will transform into a conical shape. To control this conical form, add a multiply vector math node. Adjust each of the multiplier vector to see how it affects the conical form. For now, set X and Y to 0 and Z to 1. Now add a sign math node between the two vector math nodes. The mesh will transform into a rough circular wave pattern. To control the shape of the circular wave, add a multiply math node and adjust the multiplier value.
For a better control, add a value node and a divide math node. In the value node type pi. Now adjust the dividing value to set a desired shape of the mesh. For the purpose of this tutorial, set the sine math node to r tangent and divider value to 28 and z vector multiplier to 26. We now have the shape of the canopy. Select these seven nodes and press Shift plus P to club them in a frame. Label the frame as canopy shape. We can now add a transform node for adjusting position, rotation and scale of this shape. Now, from this shape, we will first generate the metal frame of the canopy. For this we need three nodes mesh to curve, curve to mesh and a curve primitive circle node to act as profile curve. Set resolution of curve circle to 6. Set radius to 0.15. This will set the thickness of metal frame. Also, add a set shade smooth node to smoothen out the mesh. Also, add a set materials node. Select these five nodes and press Shift plus P to club them in a frame. Label the frame as Canopy Frame. Next, we will generate the infill glass panels. For this, we need the split edges node. Scale elements node.
and an extrude mesh node. Now add a join geometry node and join together the canopy frame and the infill panel geometries. Set scale to 0.95 and offset scale to 0.02. Disconnect the canopy frame geometry to inspect the infill panel geometry closely. The split edges node has split the single mesh into separate individual faces. The scale elements node has scaled each individual faces by a factor of 0.95. The extrude mesh node has given thickness to each face. Add a flip faces node to makes faces extrude outwards. Now, add a set materials node to the infill panel geometry. Join again the canopy frame and the infill panel geometries. Before adding materials, let us remove random infill glass panels. For this, add delete geometry node and select face. Connect the random value node to selection socket. Select boolean and adjust probability and seed value to your liking. For this tutorial, set probability to 0.6 and seed to 11. Select these six nodes and press Shift plus P to club them in a frame. Label the frame as infill panel. Our node setup is now complete. For this tutorial, we will only be doing a basic material setup with Evia's render engine. Switch on viewport render mode and click off scene world. First open the shader editor window. Make sure you are in object mode and use nodes as clicked. Click on new material. Rename it Metal Basic. In the principled BSDF shader node, increase metallic. 
Reduce roughness. Add some anisotropic and some sheen. In the Geometry Nodes Editor, choose Metal Basic and the Set Material node for the metal frame. In the Shader Editor, click to create a new material. Rename it Generative Glass Basic. Delete the principled BSDF shader. Add a glass BSDF shader. A texture coordinate node and a mapping node. In the Geometry Nodes Editor, choose Generative Glass Basic and the Set Material node for the Infill Glass Panel. Congratulations! Your canopy model is now complete. Let us now use the power of non-destructive workflow of geometry nodes and generate some variations of this model. First, let us create a base plane and adjust the position of our first canopy. Now, press 1 to get into elevation view and adjust the view for your liking. In the viewport, select Canopy and press Shift plus D to create a copy of the canopy and then press X to move the copy to a different location on X-axis. You can see a new collection in the Outliner Editor. In the Geometry Nodes Editor click on the Shield Symbol button to generate a separately editable copy of the node group. Now, you can adjust the settings to create a different form of canopy. You can adjust probability and seed value of the infill panels. You can adjust the rotation and scale of the canopy form. In the canopy shape group, you can adjust the multiply vectors.
the divide value and also the vectors in the distance node. You can adjust the value in the arc and two node. Also, you can select between sine, cosine, arc sine, arcosine, and arc tangent. For the purpose of this tutorial, we will set rings to a hexagon radius to 2.2. Distance x to 31.5. Divide value to 65. Sign profile, multiply z to 18 and scale z to 2.1. Let us also set curve circle radius to 0.3. Let us generate another variation. Repeat steps to create a copy of Canopy and Viewport. Select Canopy and press Shift plus D and then press X to move the copy to a different location on X-axis. You can see a new collection in the Outliner Editor. In the Geometry Nodes Editor click on the Shield Symbol button to generate a separately editable copy of the node group. This time, set rings to 11, hexagon radius to 2.0. Distance x to minus 9. Divide value to 45. R10 to profile, value 0 0.5. Multiply z to 25 and scale z to 1. Now you can adjust the settings on your own and generate more variations. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. I will upload the duly annotated blend file for this tutorial on my Gumroad page, for anyone to use as reference. The link will be in description below. Thank you for watching. Hope this video has added to your understanding of geometry nodes and Blender. If you found the video useful, please be generous in liking it and subscribe to my channel. You are welcome to follow me and connect with me on Twitter.
Also, you are welcome to check my Gumroad page and ArtStation profile for other useful stuff related to architectural design. The links are in description below.